New tonight, we're learning more about the North Carolina man accused of teaching someone how to make and use bombs meant to kill law enforcement. Queen City News anchor Ryan Kruger has been digging into the suspect's past. And Ryan, this investigation, it started two years ago. Yeah, that's right, guys. It all happened when a man who law enforcement calls a militia extremist got into a shootout with police and died. Now, the FBI says inside that man's house, they found bombs along with disturbing training manuals that were allegedly written by a suspect from North Carolina. Mass scale assaults and raids, rescue operations, snatch and grab operations. In a 10 minute YouTube video, Christopher Arthur of Mount Olive explains how to train a militia. It's one of dozens of videos on his page, Tackleberry Solutions, where he teaches things like self-defense and fighting back against what he calls a tyrannical government. In one video, he openly discusses getting into a shootout with law enforcement. But you're dealing with a bunch of freaking kids now that are working as cops and they don't have a damn clue what war really looks like. At some point, that's going to happen and you're going to have to take those dudes out. Now, the FBI says one of his alleged students had plans to kill police. Back in May of 2020, a truck driver named Joshua Blessed led police in upstate New York on a two-hour chase where more than 100 gunshots were fired blessed ended up being killed. The local sheriff called him a militia extremist. Authorities say they found homemade bombs along with the instruction manuals on how to make them allegedly written by Christopher Arthur. The FBI says Arthur also trained blessed on how to use the weapons here in North Carolina. As the investigation continued, the FBI says Arthur told a confidential informant how to set up booby traps and ambushes to kill law enforcement. And Christopher Arthur is expected back in federal court on Friday. The U.S. attorney says he will prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. Guys. Yeah, very disturbing story there, Ryan. Thank you.